What's going on guys, this is Selma64, and I have another topic that's not related to video games. I was actually on Facebook, scrolling down my Facebook feed, and I came across an interview with D.L. Hughley on The View. If not, not many of you know that uh, D.L. Hughley is like a comedian, and The View is like one of those shows with like a bunch of women, and they sit around, and they interview people, and they talk about topics and stuff, and it's got like Whoopi Goldberg, and actually she's like the only person I recognize on there. Just like looking at the video, or like the thumbnail for the video, that's the only person I recognize. She was... She's a really good actor, <laughs> and I watched a lot of her movies growing up, so there's that. But, anyways, the, mo the video actually is about him, and the topic on him was something he said about Caitlyn Jenner, and the fact that he doesn't really recognize her as a female. Now, there's a lot of backlash about it, obviously, he got some flame for it on Twitter, so... He's on the show to talk about sort of or why he said what he did and perhaps why he doesn't really see her as a she. And what he was saying was that he was asked if he thought that Caitlyn Jenner was beautiful. And I think he said something along the lines of it would be silly to ask if another man is beautiful. And... Obviously, people got upset about that because Caitlyn Jenner is a she. Google and Siri both recognize her as a she. He used to be, she used to be a guy. Her DNA does say that she's a guy. And according to some of the commenters on the video, when she dies and she gets you know, unburied or dug up and the DNA is tested, it will say that she is also a guy and anybody who never did any research on Caitlyn Jenner will also think that, hey, this is the DNA of men. Now, the reason being that none of this really matters is because it's not about what happens after we die. I think that some transgender folk chose this life because it's it's life it's not after life it's for life they chose that this is not what they wanted for their life they can't choose what they do after that they can't choose you know hey so when you guys dig me up um i used to be a woman but now i'm a guy oh you guys have to respect that when you're like doing an autopsy to figure out who i am just keep that in mind that i was the opposite gender Although, how's that going to work for gender fluid folk? But, or people who don't assign themselves a gender. <laughs> anyway. That's kind of what it boils down to. But, at the end of the day, how you live your life is, is how we should respect it. So, if someone wants to be a girl, you call them, during their life, a girl. When they die, you can make fun of them all you want. It, it's not really going to make a difference because it's not going to affect their life. Their life ended. And, you know, it kind of makes me think about how many people in the past, I mean before all this became mainstream, I'm talking about 1920s, 1800s, 1700s, how many people might have been transgender and, you know, you, you look back and you go through your ancestry and you're thinking, oh, I had grandfathers and grandmothers, but your grandmother, you know, might have transitioned after they had kids, you know, they might have been a trans, and, you know, you're thinking, oh, he was a great man, you know, Cause, and you never knew him, but the way that it's perceived, or, you know, just the way it's portrayed, and ancestry stuff like ancestry.com for example it says that this person was a man it was a male and died a male and someone was also saying that you know you, you're born a man and you will die a man you know that's what your DNA says he also uh, DL Hughley also said some stuff about 
how, you know, you might be a woman, you know, or want to be acknowledged as a woman, but you're always going to be seen as a man if you don't really do that great of a job to look like a woman. And he used Laverne Cox as an example, because Laverne Cox, I mean, you know, if she never talked, she would be a really great looking woman. She would be. I mean, she is a great looking woman, because she is a woman. But she does have that sort of deeper voice that, you know, not enough drugs can get rid of. So what are you going to do, right? I mean, change your voice manually, like, oh, hello, you know, like, use a voice like that. No, because that sounds stupid. Like, it sounds stupid when I said it. Although I'm not, I'm not taking any, like, drugs, so there's no way I'm going to get it any higher than that. That's just, I'm a guy, so. I'm, like, a guy, guy, like, I haven't transitioned, I haven't taken any, like, you know, those, those estrogen drugs or whatever to make you more feminine. So I can't do that, but I think that even with, like, guys, even when they want to do that, there's only so much you can do to get your voice to raise like that. It kind of reminds me of, like, an episode of American Dad where this guy got hit in the nuts so hard, his voice, you know, went up, and his nuts kind of just receded, and then want to come back out into hiding until they decided, oh, I guess it's okay to come back out, and then his voice just dropped immediately. So, that was kind of funny. But, yeah, he was saying that, like, Laverne Cox looks like a great woman because she got the works. She got the premium package where, I don't know, Caitlyn Jenner got, like, a package that wasn't really as good. And to be fair, on Caitlyn Jenner's off days, I guess she's not really that attractive, but she, I don't think she's going for attractiveness. She's just going for the woman look. You know, she's looking for, like, the average woman. That's what she's going for. And now, and she looks kind of good sometimes. <laughs> like, on the cover of Vanity, you, if you thought, if you never knew that she was a guy, you'd probably want to smash. But then you'd know, oh, yeah, she, she only really got, like, part of what you should get, you know, like all the work. She didn't really get everything. So, naturally, she does have those still manly features that Laverne Cox doesn't have because Laverne Cox, like, went above and beyond to look like a really, really beautiful woman. And Caitlyn Jenner really did. And I'll agree to that because sometimes I look at Caitlyn Jenner and, like, I'm like, wow, she does look like a good woman. And then other times it's like, oh. Like, uh, She got compared to Mrs. Doubtfire by DL because, you know, she kind of looked like that. Do I think so? Well, Doubtfire is kind of old. So, it's kind of, you'd have to, like, stretch a little bit to see the similarities, but for the most part, I didn't really, I didn't really see it. I get it, but I didn't really see it. And, you know, that's kind of mean, too. So that's another reason why he's on the show talking about this. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to understand that not everybody's going to accept your life choice. So you got to get over it, and you got to keep on moving. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you kind of like videos that aren't about video games, you can tell me. Or not. Thanks for watching. Bye.